Good afternoon and welcome to Bear News Now. I'm Robin Gross. Struggling to find what to do this week? Take a look at events happening on and around campus. Outdoor Pursuits will be hosting an adaptive climbing clinic on Wednesday, February 9th to teach how to use adaptive climbing gear while rock climbing. The event will be at the Outdoor Pursuits gear shop from 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. and it is free to attend. However, as of Monday, there are only seven spots left, so sign up quickly if you'd like to attend. Outdoor Pursuits will also be hosting ski or snowboard lessons at Snowy Range, Wyoming on Sunday, February 13th. The cost is $100, and to sign up for all Outdoor Pursuit events, go to the Outdoor Pursuit Gear Shop located at the west entrance of Harrison Hall. The Ha'aheo Hawaii Club will be hosting a fundraiser at Mod Pizza on Thursday, February 10th. The fundraiser is to raise money for their annual luau. To help with the fundraiser, use code MOD1872 at checkout. Also on Thursday, the UNC women's basketball team will be up against Sacramento State at 6 p.m. in the Bank of Colorado Arena. To round off your week, the Marcus Garvey Cultural Center, in collaboration with the Black Campus Ministry, will be hosting a soul food night on Friday, February 11th. The event will start at 7 p.m. at Harrison Den. As some of you might know, Spring Rush happened this past week, and the fraternities here on campus had quite the turnout, turnout despite the snowy day. To start, Lambda Chi Alpha had a rush event where they went to the batting cages at the Roach Memorial facility. Antonio Giovanetti said that this was his favorite rush event because he loves baseball and felt that the PMNs had a great time. Lambda Chi Alpha gave nine bids to new associate members after Rush. Pi Kappa Alpha had an event where they watched the Nuggets game together and got to know the PMNs better. Chris Ditzenberger said this was his favorite event because he got to know personal things about the nine, possibly ten, new pledges. Pi Kappa Pi Phi also gave bids to nine new pledges. Will Herman said during the snow day, they went sledding for a rush event instead of the previously scheduled event. Herman liked taking the boys out and seeing what they brought to sled with. Herman also enjoyed a good old classic poker night with the boys. Delta Sigma Phi had 15 new brothers join their fraternity. Dane Horan, their recruitment chair, said his favorite rush event had to be the Nerf gun war through their chapter house. If you joined a UNC fraternity this spring semester, congratulations on your new brotherhood. Have you fallen on ice recently? Hopefully the answer is no, but if you said yes, you aren't alone. According to the CDC, around a million people in the US are injured due to falls on ice every year. As the snow from last week's storm is starting to melt, icy conditions are common around Greeley, so it's important to keep yourself safe especially if you have early morning classes, make sure to wear slip resistant shoes, snow boots, and sneakers are better than dress shoes or Converse. If you live off campus, sprinkle salt over any particularly slippy, slippery areas outside your door. You can buy salt specifically formulated to melt ice, including pet friendly and environmental friendly brands at most home improvement stores. Paying attention to weather conditions like ice is an important part of keeping yourself safe on campus. In the past week, UNC hosted four open forums to give students a chance to meet the candidates for the school's next provost. The candidates interviewed were Laura Delbruge, Carol Parker, Kristen Porterfly, and Farrell Webb. If you weren't able to make it to any of these open forums, don't worry, there's still one left. Candidate Kristen Fleming will be present for an open forum on Thursday. The open forum starts at 1.30 in the UC in Columbine A. Thanks for watching. I'm Robin Gross, and we'll see you Thursday.